there are two ways to get into the settings to configure your buttons. One way is to use the menu. Go into the menu, you select App Settings, and you scroll down till you find Servo. And the shortcut is very simple. You just long tap the remote control icon and you get to the same spot. Let's go in and configure a couple of buttons. Now in this screen, uh, you'll see uh, a pencil icon and a text uh, saying that you need to tap the pencil to configure. So obviously we're gonna do just that. Let's start with the light. So this screen, the setup for one particular button looks the same for all of the buttons. Um, first of all, you need to select the right channel. So in this case, I will use channel eight because my lights are on channel eight. And that's the start. First, select which channel. Then you have two checkboxes here. Use is to use it at all as a server button. And if you want to use it with the GoTo Plus for you premium subscribers, you also check here. Personally, I do not think it makes a lot of sense to select anything else than baiting devices for GoTo Plus, so I will deselect it again. Then for each button, they turn a servo either on or they turn it off. And for all buttons, the factory default will be 1900 for on and 1100 for off. If your servo is reversed so that 1100 or the low value is on, you can quickly swap these by pressing this icon here. If the default values doesn't fit you, you tap on edit, and then you can set whatever value you like, but it needs to be above 800 and below 2200. Otherwise, the app will not accept what you put in. Click OK to close it. As for other functions, if you want to use the servo as a dimmer, and for my lights, I want to do just that, then I just select it to be a dimming device. Down at the bottom, you see a section called set when connected. And usually you don't have to think about it, uh, but it can be useful. And for this particular uh, servo, which is a light that is dimming, meaning that I have uh, a light driver, uh, which is an electronic speed controller, this speed controller needs to be initialized. And if I do not, nothing here on the PBM value, and then it will not initialize and will not uh, work properly. So for an electronic speed controller, quite usual is to put it in the off position and then it will initialize and then I can use the light. Finally, just click OK to save the value. And then we have configured our first button. And as you see here, there are quite some information uh, retrieved from, from the setup. So you get an overview here on what values are set. Now in this video, we will configure two more servos. I will make one of them a latching or a permanent switch. And then I will make the second a momentary switch and define how long it should be turned on before it turns itself off again. So let's get going. First, we take a bait tray. It 
this one I will also use in go to plus because I like to do baiting when I do go to plus. It is on my servo six channel six. In this case, the values for on and off are good. It is supposed to be latching. If I press this button, it's going to be momentary instead. We will look into that for the next servo. And that's it. So I click OK again. And it's done. And then the final, it's going to be my bait thrower. This is on channel 5. I will use it and also use it while baiting in go to plus. This particular servo is reversed. Um, the bait thrower has a big engine on top and it will typically empty my bait uh, in a matter of a few seconds. And I don't want it to keep on running and I also don't want to remember to turn it off again. So that's why I will make it momentary. And then I press here to change it from latching to momentary. And then I only need to figure out approximately how long should it run. And I think just to be safe, I'm going to select three seconds. And since this is a motor driven by an electronic speed controller, I need to initialize it. So I'm going to start with it in off. And then I click OK. OK, I configured three servos. The first one is a dimmer. It has an electronic speed controller driving it. So when I connect to the boat, I will put it in off position. Then I have a momentary bait thrower. It's going to run for three seconds. It's being used in go to plus. And since it's an electronic speed controller, I'm going to put it in an off position while I connect. And then finally, I have my bait tray. It's also used in GoTo Plus. And I can quickly see here that I have what channels I have selected the, and the PVM values for on and for off. And I think this is fine, but I'm not fond of the order. I personally I think I will put the bait tray as the first icon. So let's just tap it and drag it on the top. And then I will have the, the uh, bait thrower and then light as the third option. And then with jumps, we just need to click back a few times. Back and back, and here we are. So if I touch the icon now, for the remote, I can see my servo buttons. They appear in the order I selected, but as you see, the icon is red, meaning that they will not work if, since I'm not connected to a boat. And if I try to tap one of them, I will also get a error message or an info message saying I need to connect first. So let's do that. And since I already set it up, I will just tap auto connect and then everything will care for itself. Connected. Vehicle home updated. Waypoints received. So I have set up three buttons. The first one is the bait tray. I selected that as a latching or a permanent switch, meaning if I push it, it will go on and stay on. And please make note, since it changes color, it's not because I pushed it, but it's because I got a feedback from autopilot that this function is now turned on. And that's why it turns green. So this is a confirmation that the boat accepted your command. And it will stay on until I touch it again. So to turn it off, I need to push it once more. The second button, that's my uh, momentary switch, 
we define it to run for three seconds. So if I push it on, like now, it will turn itself automatically off again in three seconds, like it did now. And the third button, that's a dimmer. So if I push the button, it doesn't turn on at once. Instead, it starts a slider where you can drag to determine how much light should be on. Touch anywhere else on the app and the slider will go away. If you need to turn it off again, press once more and drag the slider to the off position and you're good. Now servo buttons, that's available for all users, while the Go to Plus will also use, utilize uh, the servo buttons. That's only available for uh, premium users. So let's have a little look on how to use the Go to Plus. And to trigger Go to Plus, you long press on one of the points and you get a menu. So let's do that. I long press now on number two. And I get this pop up menu for number two. What to do about point number two? So everyone can go to it. Everyone can start the route starting from point number two, but only premium users can select the go to plus. I'm going to do that now. Mode pause. So all of the buttons that I selected to be visible in go to plus, they are now here. That's the bait tray, that's the bait thrower. And the bait thrower has the three zero, meaning it will stay on for three seconds. And the final button is the ability to go back home and it will do so after 10 seconds. If you want to, you may decide that this time I am going to use the bait thrower first. And then just tap on it and drag it on the top and it will run as the first servo. Uh, if you don't want one particular servo to run, you can just tap it and drag it to the side and it will be gone. If that was a mistake, simply cancel and start to go to plus once more, reorder as desired and you're good to go. If you don't want the boat to return back home afterward, that just slide that away as well. And when you're done, just click the checkbox and it starts. Driving to target. Yeah, it was a bad thing to select the target where my boat arrived at target. And the mission is completed. Finally, as promised, I told you that I will show where to define the waiting period before the boat goes back home. And all of the settings are, as always, available from the menu button. So I'm going to app settings. And this time it's how to control the boat. So those settings are on the boat control. And the third setting here is wait before return to launch after go to plus. So here I could select 20 seconds and go back. And if I do a go to plus now, it, no pause. Will, be, it will be 20 seconds until it returns. Okay, I think that's it. Happy fishing, guys.